People making lists, buying special gifts. This a time to be kind to one and all. It's that time of year when good friends are near and you wish you could give more than just presents from a store. So why don't you give love on Christmas Day? Oh, even the man who has everything would be so happy if you would bring him love on Christmas Day. And no greater gift is there than love. What the world needs is love. Yes, the world needs your love. And why don't you give love on Christmas Day? No greater gift is there than love. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Y'all know I love Christmas songs, Christmas music, no matter what I feel about the pagan holiday. <laughs> Most of us have forgotten, um, I guess, the real reason for Christmas. And it's the, But that's neither here nor there. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here today because I really want to talk a bit about Master P and his um, beautiful son, Romeo. You know, and um, this conversation is a little hard to have because I understand both people quite, um, I guess, accurately. You know, because there is no right and wrong answer. Okay? There are consequences for our actions. You know, uh, but... There's no right or wrong answer. So here's what I wanted to say. You know, and as you know, in the hood, a lot of us, well, I don't want to even say in the hood. If a lot of us had made, I guess, selfless, total selfless decisions before we had children, a lot of us wouldn't even be born. Let's keep it real. Because here's what I'm saying. Whatever their problem is, it's a little bit more magnified because they have, you know, finances. But when you look at the selfless act that being a parent is, it's difficult. So I'm going to speak from a parent perspective first, and then I'm going to speak from the child's perspective because, oh, I had my daughter talked to me just like um and going through as a young person just what Romeo was going through right now things that I wasn't willing to acknowledge about myself things that I wasn't able to really stand in it because I come from a generation was like what you say you better show some respect you did what uh, well put it like this I come from the ironing cord whooping days Okay, my mama came from the razor strap beating days and her mama came from the beating of slavery. Um, so this is the dysfunction of some of, of that. It's this this thing is is real, real rooted in something deeper, especially for us. But it's universal in terms of how it affects the people. OK, because we're all connected. Still can't forget about that. Now, let me tell you something. A lot of us. Speaking for parents. Um, 
had children for whatever reason. All of it wasn't love. Some of y'all were surprised. Some of y'all was like, ooh, we're going to make the best of it. Some of y'all was like, ooh, we got to get married now, especially y'all that was in church. I got to get married now. I done got pregnant. You done got me pregnant. What? Yeah, we got we got to get married. Okay? Because maybe not have been the circumstance you would have did had you not have had that happen. Then you got the ones who get treated so bad they just want something to love. So they're already bringing all their drama and all their baggage and all their luggage onto the child before the child's even born. Some of them have kids because they want to feel grown. They want to feel like you can't tell. I can have a baby. I can have a baby. So can't nobody tell me nothing. Then you got all the children that's born under that kind of dichotomy. Right? You put all that shit in pot and stir it up and it's a real, real big gumbo. It really is. It's a real, real big gumbo of mess. Because a lot of times parents, this is from Master P and Romeo. And I don't know anything about their situation. And I really don't want to speak on it like that. But I will say this. As parents, as a lot of people from the dominant society, they had something to leave their kids, right? And a lot of times struggling coming up, either they did or they didn't, um have somebody in their family they could go to more than likely and get something. We have very, very few families like that. And if we do, it's twos and fews, and you better give it back. <laughs> Quickness. But no, 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 no. But all jokes aside, a lot of times parents spend their kids' money. I've done that. Um, I felt guilty about it after it was brought to my attention. I wasn't feeling guilty about it at first. I went on my merry way because I realized that the uh, rent had to be paid. And I knew that, listen, I needed some money out this funds right here. And it's my daughter's fund. But guess what? Because we... We're in survival mode. I really didn't care. And I knew at that point she was a kid and she didn't care. But one day that kid is going to grow up. And all the things that you think that weren't a big deal for you because you did what you had to do is going to be a big deal, could be a big deal for them. That's why I said what Nick Cannon is saying now ain't no is this what you plan with with people lies like this you don't see it that way that's why i get so disgusted with him not so much as i don't like nick because i like nick cannon but this is just the, the, what i'm telling you about bringing children in the world and not understanding just how selfless that damn job is it's more than just dressing them up and holiday clothes and buying them some Jordans and taking pictures with them and saying, okay, I can buy some diapers and I can take care of mama. It's much more than that. It's there. You're the potter and they're the clay. And unless you there, you can't mold you can't mold a masterpiece. Because even if you're there, you might end up breaking the clay or booting. You got to come back and put some more water to it and start all over again. Even if you're there, it, it could be difficult. But can you imagine when you're not there? And a lot of us have children and we don't think about those things. Because, like I said, for whatever reason. This is the most selfless job that you ever are going to do. Because if you know what it all entails, you might think twice about having it. I'm not saying that to discourage you. I'm saying it to encourage you to let you know that this is really a two-party job. You ain't doing nobody no favor because you take care of your kids. 
You are crazy if you don't. This is your legacy and your pyramids that you're leaving. And you have destroyed their minds already before they even get going. Some of us have put things in our kids' names. And um, now it'd be different if you paid the bill and you got it in your kid's name. I mean, because I know how we got to live. We got to get it sometime how we live. And that might sound crazy to some. It just depends on what levels, because there's levels to this shit. It depends on what level you on. Some of us had our phone bills in our kids' name. I had my cable bill in my daughter's name. But I paid it. And it was never after her talking about, you know, you owe us Yada, 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 yada. Because that's the difference to being responsible, irresponsible. To leave your kid when they get 18, they find out they got a $5,000 gas bill. And now they can't have no electric or no gas when they want to move out on their own because you done ruined them. You got parents that do that and think nothing of it. Like Bill Cosby said, his daddy used to say, I made you, I'll take you out of here. So Marvin Gaye, father, said and did to him. I just want you to know that when I look at Romeo, and now that he's a father, he think about all the sacrifices that he made being up under his dad. Um, you, you you hear that little girl, what's her name, uh, from the Cosby show? She said, she haven't spent any Cosby money yet. Not a dime. Look at all the other stuff she done did. She still got that. She's sitting on that. She hasn't even spent a check from that. <coughs> what Romeo was saying, Dad, I followed you any and everywhere because I love you that much. And what firstborn son won't follow his dad like that? Keep it real. I'm not going to not acknowledge him as a young man because he's the son. It's levels to this shit. But I, at the same time, I'm going to acknowledge his hurt and his pain because right now that he's a father and the money that he probably should have to raise his kids now. He's in the same position. But they all doing better off. Master P didn't make up for that. And he still. And according to him. Try to talk to you about it. And you know how we can be as parents sometimes. We don't want to hear it. Oh look. I, I had to pay the rent. Listen, I did what I did. I, la, 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 la. But that's just gaslighting because at the end of the day, you're not addressing what they're saying. That you messed up. And that's what I had to say to my child. I had to say, I, I, didn't, I didn't handle that right. And I'm sorry. Now, a lot of y'all might say, you did what? I certainly did. I certainly did. Because the more we can sometimes get ourselves out of our ego, the better off we'll be. Especially if it's truth. Now, if she says some stuff that I don't feel, then you know that that is truth or whatever that I did, then that's what the therapist has to help us with the move past. But at the end of the day, um, I believe because we are both you know, adult. So you have to respect another adult as an adult. You have to take the title off that. This is my daughter. And this is my parent. So Romeo said that he did that. So now Romeo was a father. And Romeo realizes that he sh probably should have a little bit more. And even if it's not for him, because he's good. He got nine or ten, eleven siblings. They just lost one. Master P was out here wilding. Y'all know you. We know what what was going on. We know some of the things that we did, especially coming into new money. I'm not trying to blame the brother for that, but I'm saying I can imagine 
buying it, like he said, buying everybody cars, buying everybody this, buying because he thought it was gonna last forever. Nobody ever taught us how to apply the the money, the business. We just learn, you know. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, not apply the science of it. See, because we're not taught the science of anything. We all are taught the application of the shit. See, that's that's the what they say, butter. Because once you understand the science of it, then you're going to approach it different. You're going to approach it different. And he would have had wealth for all his children. The reason why Tatiana, um, oh, I think that's her name, what, uh, was using drugs, usually there's an underlying problem or there's an um, addiction in the family. And, of course, his ex-wife. Why was she drawn to him? Because he had to be somewhat of a narcissist that we all have to be sometimes in order to get this stuff done on a different level. How deep was his narcissism? You know, that shit is on a continuum. So was he real, real, real narcissistic? Extremely? And that girl had to do drugs in order to deal with him? Because that's all going to come out in your children, too. And you got a whole bunch of them. But you wasn't thinking about that when you was pumping up and down. You just think, oh, I'm going to make a, a life for my children. And I got, and like I said, this is not to diminish anybody. I'm making a life for my children. We rich. We got this show because we haven't been taught the science. Because had you been thinking of the science of things you would have realized that just like you brought those children in the world, they going to bring children in the world, and they going to bring children in the world, and they going to bring, and now your legacy is safe. Because that's all you have to do, and that's all you must do. Charity begins at home and spreads abroad. A man that provided not for his children is worse than an infidel that denied the faith. Okay, so all these things we could know and we still mess up. So I pray this, you know, this have to happen and it had to happen between them. I've seen much worse. I've been a part of much worse. I've been much worse. Okay, and the worst thing is to have a parent that don't listen. And that's when you find out just how far on the continuum they are. Because at some point when you're healthy, your parent is, should be able to say, you know, I didn't make the right decisions there. You know, I wish I could have did better. Don't make the same mistake I made with your child or blah, blah, blah. That's all you got to say. Because you still God in their world. They still understand. Who you are. And who God is. They can't thank God. And think they outgrew the person. That brought them. Brought, well, They came to life through your loins. And because. You've been present. In their lives. They honored you. You know. And they had their own demons and stuff. That they had to deal with. Because of. You the first person in the family. You know. So I'm not going to expect young black men to come that come into money and 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 getting kids, getting uh you know, women, getting all this to think now that they're gonna be uh responsible enough to think about everything because no, they're not. They're not. But I expect them to do just what he's doing, standing in it. And the reason why I believe you tr it, it was something that was triggered. Sometimes you have to pull the cover off so everybody can see in order for us to heal. Because you don't want to listen no other way. So it could be a situation like that. But I, I have faith and I have confidence that this is going to make them stronger as men. Because little Romeo done grew up and he should be respected as that. Just as his 
he has to respect his father. He didn't make all the right choices. You have it better than he did because he had to get it out the mud. And he's still, like he said, a work in progress like we all are. So with that being said, I hope this video wasn't, um, I mean, this video wasn't too long. But I really wanted to say that to them today. If anybody know them, send this to them. Send it to uh, him. Send it to um, Romeo. Let him know I understand exactly where he's coming from. And he don't have to feel shame for standing up straight and erect. And then tell Master, the Master, who was one of my, uh, um, um, who, how did I say this? He was a catalyst. Now, well, now that I know what, what is really behind the scenes, but I love what he did with No Limit. You know? I mean, Master P did it. He had the blueprint. Sometimes we can have it and still mess up. So, I respect both of them. And I respect one as the father, and I respect one as the son. But they're both men now. So... I'm going to go, I'm going to, I'm going to leave this where it is, and give love, <laughs> give love, don't fall apart during this time, see if you can find a way to love, with that being said, y'all, if you like what you hear, please subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.